Am I strong or am I just a beginner in my sport? We are going to be testing to see whether I'm an advanced or beginner calisthenics athlete using Overcoming Gravity's exercise charts. These are organized into a few different categories. We have handstands, pushing, pulling, and miscellaneous. I'm very interested to see what happens because my training for the last six months has been very specific. So I've just been working on one arm handstands, handstand push-ups, and muscle-ups. And that's it. I haven't done any lever training, any planche training. Welcome, my name is Summer Fun Fitness. I'm an entirely self-taught calisthenics athlete. This video is designed to both entertain you and educate you on calisthenics, but also to provide some perspective. Strength is relative to your goals and your goals alone. You may look at me or somebody else on Instagram or on YouTube and think, wow, they're really strong. I must be weak then. While that person that you're looking up to might actually feel very weak in comparison to their goals or the people that they look up to. My message to you is to stop the comparison. Look at people's successes independently from yourself. Maybe to you, doing one single push-up makes you feel strong. And maybe to me, it's being able to do 10 handstand push-ups. Just remember that somebody else's success and strength does not take away from your own. So we are actually gonna start with handstands. Get a little win under the belt because I know that I'm at least going to be intermediate at that. Hold on, what do you think I'm gonna be? Comment below, am I elite, advanced, intermediate, or beginner in the world of calisthenics? Let me know, comment right now. This next one I've never done before. It's an L-sit to bent arm press to handstand and it's still considered an intermediate skill. I, I don't know about this one. Okay, that was sick. First try, wow. I've never completed this skill before, so let's try. Down there. Okay, so this is the last one on the handstand push up. It's just a deficit, I think. I don't know. in there, but does it count? Count? <sighs> okay, this is another one I've never done before. We're just jumping ahead in the press. Don't know if I'll be able to keep my arms straight. <gasps> oh, it's so hard. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> okay, we're going into the polling section and just taking a look at this. Pretty sure this is where I'm gonna be beginner, but let's see. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> I can't. <sighs> and I think that's where we're gonna cut it off for this. Is that low enough? I'm gonna count that as a medium. <laughs> as a medium did it. Jacob called me out and said I didn't hold the L-stit the whole time. So we're gonna try again, although my hands are really, really freaking sore right now. It wasn't great, but. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> that was sick though. <laughs> oh. That's scary. Wood chips in my hair forever now. I think that if I was fresh, I might be able to do the advanced tuck, but right now it is killing my front delts. Oh. Not today, honey. Not today. Tuck launch, I'm gonna say, is the only one that I could do there. Not the advanced, so another beginner stamp. Okay, one crazy thing about this list is we have weighted pull-ups, which we're not doing today because I don't have any weights with me. The most I've ever done is sets of five at 45 pounds. I'm 125 pounds, so that's one third of my body weight or so. Um, but on here, it has 2.1 times your body weight for a weighted pull-up. It only has it in the advanced level, not in the elite level. Can you imagine? pulling two times your body weight, that's a lot of weight to strap to yourself to do a pull-up. So I'm pretty surprised by that. For the push-up section, it's mostly using rings, and I'm far too lazy to set up some rings now, and I don't want this video to be 30 minutes long. So I'm gonna try this not available level push-up. It is clapping push-ups. It goes clap, slap your chest, slap your stomach, and then I'm gonna add on slap your behind your back. could do that and it counted for nothing. Onto one arm push-ups. I'm filming this just for you because I was actually gonna skip it because I know I can't do it. But that wouldn't be any fun, so let's try. That was just, I'm just. <laughs> How would you take this hand off? I will leave a link to the book and the charts down below, but overall the results were that in the 12 areas that I tested, I actually came out as intermediate. Is that what you thought I would be?
Did you think I was gonna be a beginner? Did you think I was gonna be advanced or early? Let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you learned a lot, saw some new progressions and feel inspired to get moving and focused on your goals. If you need more help, visit summerfunfitness.com or if you're feeling super inspired right now, why not just roll out a yoga mat or just drop on the ground and do a seven minute workout. It's gonna work on your shoulder external rotation as well as your core. It's gonna help you with handstands and all calisthenic skills and it's only seven minutes long. Thank you so much for being here. Bye!